What's up you guys, it's your girl Angela and welcome back to my Chanel. If you couldn't already tell by the huge abdo abdominal, abominable, abdominable, snowman, snowsuit, whatever. If you couldn't tell by that huge ski suit behind me or by the title of this video, <laughs> I am going away to the Poconos. If you don't know where the Poconos is, neither do I, but apparently it's an hour and a half away from where I live in Jersey, and it's essentially the poor man's Colorado for skiing and snowboarding and all those snow tippies. So I'm really excited. I'm going with a bunch of new friends, but I'm not used to packing for cold weather, and I didn't realize how bulky everything is. So packing should be fun, which is why I decided to bring you guys along for the ride. But before we get into today's video, I have to give a quick little shout out to today's sponsor, which is Scentbird. Now, these came at the most perfect time because I'm looking at all of the jackets, sweaters, sweatpants, and everything behind me, and I'm like, how am I gonna even have room for a bobby pin in my bag, let alone a giant bottle of perfume. So Scentbird was kind enough to send me three scents and I'm going to share what they are in just a moment. But if you're unfamiliar with Scentbird, Scentbird is a subscription fragrance service where essentially you get to try it before you buy. I'm somebody that attaches memories to scents. So when I go away on vacation, I wanna wear something fresh and something new. So when I think about this trip later on, I could think of the amazing time I had. And if it was horrible, I could just throw the perfume in the garbage. Which is why I love the size of these Scentbird vials. They are so much bigger than the samples you get in Sephora for those lousy points. Sephora, please change your point system, I'm tired of you. But there is, according to Scentbird, enough for a one month's supply apply but these last me so much longer especially when you apply them correctly i apply these to my pressure points on my wrist and my neck and i smell fresh and amazing all day so it's not like i'm showering in these i guess you could and it'll last you 30 days but these last so much longer for me personally Scentbird was sweet enough to send me these three delicious scents so let's see what i got first up we have Pink Sugar's Red Velvet. I'm just gonna spray this into the air. Mm. Definitely a sweet and fruity scent, but it has some like richness to it. So I would wear this more at night, but if you're really into sweet fragrances and are looking for something to wear during the nighttime to feel a little bit sexier, this one is definitely going to be for you. Next up we have Prada Candy. Mmm. Mm. I'm definitely smelling musk and caramel with this one. It's another sweet scent, but a little bit heavier, a little bit more. This is me when I walk in a room. Love this one as well. And my last one is Juice Pure Sugar, oh, which is my favorite one. If you could stick your face in a bag of sugar and it actually had a scent, I feel like this is what it would smell like. I love this so much. I'm going to take this one with me on my trip because I have already so much. I'm taking all these jackets and everything is so large and in charge. And whether I wind up at a bar or on top of a mountain, you will not catch me slipping because I'm going to be smelling amazing this entire trip. Scentbird is only $16 a month, which is already way more affordable than even buying those roller balls you get in the fragrance section of the makeup store. We won't even talk about those. Another waste of money. But with my code Angela B, you can get your first month's subscription for 55% off, which is insane. I think that's the best discount code I've ever gotten for Scentbird. They must like me or something. I'm just kidding. Thank you, Scentbird, once again for sponsoring this video. I'm going to go throw this in my fanny pack right now because I cannot be without this scent this trip. This is the scent of the trip. Juice pure sugar. Period. All right, let's go pack. <laughs> mm -mm. We have so much bagging to do right now. I am not excited, but hey, I get to do it with you guys, so it's better than that. Today we are going to be putting everything around oops, into this luggage right here. Now for me, prepping for a trip starts days before I actually start packing stuff into my luggage. And that's especially true for the clothes that I bring. So as I'm doing laundry during the week, I set stuff aside in this little area and organize my outfits so that by the time 
I'm ready to actually pack my suitcase. I have all my clothes and shoes and bags and stuff like that ready to go. Now, as far as my toiletries, hair stuff, shower stuff, skincare, and all of that, those go in last minute because I use those on a daily basis. So I have started to grab those from my bathroom because I did already wash my hair and take a shower and do all of that. So I am able to pack this stuff right now. But we are going to start with clothes first. Actually, let me start off with the one thing that I'm not packing in my suitcase. <laughs> and that is, oh my God, this gigantic ski suit. And I got this from Etsy. It shipped from Russia in like three days and I'm so happy about that. But I needed a ski suit because we are going skiing, snowboarding, all the snow stuff. I don't even know what we're doing, but I need the snow suit. So I got this one, but because of its size, there's no way it's gonna fit in my luggage. So I'm going to carry this separately. Luckily, I am driving, so that makes this way easier. I don't know how I would fly with this because this literally takes up half of my suitcase. So there's that. I also have some adult beverages in here to take with me as well. So that's not being packed in the suitcase. And let's see. I am also bringing my electronics bag, my cameras, my camera equipment, my wires, my chargers, my lights and all of that. So that will be going in my luggage either, but that is all packed and ready to go. Now, if you guys want a separate video of all my camera equipment, my vlogging cameras, my sit-down cameras, my lights, my audio, and all of that, I could definitely do that for you, but I don't want to include all this in this video. If you are not into vlogging or content creation, that's just very boring. <laughs> so we're going to start off with clothes and shoes. And so going on this trip, I knew that we would have a lot of downtime because we Airbnb this really big house and it's beautiful and it's cozy. And, you know, I feel like we're going to spend a lot of time inside when we're not out in the snow. So the majority of my outfits are loungewear. So let's start over here. I am bringing a pair of pretty little thing sweatpants and a plain old t-shirt I got from Walmart, just as like something to throw on, maybe after my shower, when I'm getting ready, something like that. I also found these really cool sweatpants on Amazon, and what's cool about these is that the entire inside is lined with fleece, so it's like super soft and warm and thick, so I'm like, what better place to bring this to than the Poconos, so let's pack that as well and now half of my suitcase is already full i'm dead okay i'm also bringing this juicy couture velour set i've posted this on tiktok it is such a comfy set just to chill in and it comes with like this pullover sweatshirt type of vibe so i'm taking that i'm also packing some elevated loungewear from skims this is loungewear that can be worn in the house or out if we need to run errands or go to the grocery store or anything so i'm bringing these skims outdoor leggings love these i bring these on every trip with me i pretty much bring all of my skims outdoor collection pieces everywhere i go they are top tier and i'm pairing those leggings with this skims t-shirt i find that bringing basics like these t-shirts I'm showing you guys is really helpful and will save you a lot of space in your suitcase because you could easily rewear it. I do not care. I will rewear something on vacation even if I'm going for like three days. <laughs> if something is comfortable and smells clean, why not just rewear it? Oh, my knees are hurting. Okay. I'm also bringing this knit lounge set, which is just something to, again, wear around the house. That's what the majority of my stuff is, just stuff for me to wear. Let me get a little bit closer to you guys. Just stuff to wear around the crib because if we're not in the snow with our ski suits on, then you know we're gonna be in the house. So then I have one more loungewear set from Skims, of course, and it's the same leggings I have in black but these are a khaki color and instead of the t-shirt I'm pairing it with 
a sports bra and zip up jacket, which I think is really cute. And again, this piece comes with me literally everywhere I go. So yeah, it's just so comfortable and versatile and stylish and just like easy to throw on. So that's why I love it so much. Now, honestly, I don't expect to be working out that much because we are going to be getting a pretty good workout in the snow, doing all these snow activities. But I did want to bring some active wear sets to shoot some content of me boxing because my personal trainer is going as well. So I'm bringing these Amazon scrunch butt leggings. If these look familiar, these are the famous TikTok leggings. However, these are the updated version. They came out with some with pockets and different waistbands and stuff like that. So I picked up these and I'm just pairing that with like this Skims little tank top. I also recently did a collab with PLT for the new Sunisa Lee collection. So I'm bringing two outfits from that and I would also like to get some photos from my Instagram in these. So for the first outfit, I have these green scrunch bud leggings, which I love, I'm so obsessed. And then the matching bra top that looks like this. Then I'm also bringing this midnight blue seamless contrast set. This one is a little bit different because it has long sleeves and it zips down the middle. I thought this one was really freaking cute, so I'm taking that as well. Now, I don't know if we're going to be going out to any bars because I don't think it's that type of city, you know? But I did want to have some options with me just in case. So I'm bringing these leggings from Naked Wardrobe just to throw on with some booties that I'll show you in a minute. And then I paired that with this Naked Wardrobe long sleeve white crop top. I thought this was a super like chill but sexy outfit to wear to a bar if they even have any over there. Also bringing this Naked Wardrobe jumpsuit. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this yet. <laughs> Kind of want a photo in the snow in this but we'll see what happens now even though winter clothes are bulky i'm trying to consolidate as much as possible to avoid carrying multiple suitcases for a three night trip i am driving so my suitcase will not be weighed so i'm fitting this in here just in case because why not right now sleepwear is always tough for me because i prefer to sleep naked i've always been like that it's so hard for me to sleep with clothes on but if i have to sleep with clothes on i'm sleeping in skims I'm bringing these Fits Everybody leggings with the matching crop top. Um, again, Skims just takes the cake. <laughs> I'm also bringing two pairs of Skims boxer shorts to wear at night because I get super hot when I sleep as well. And then just one t-shirt because I don't care if I wear the same t-shirt to bed more than once. It's like the shorts and the underwear that like, you know, I really want to change so that's that i'm also of course bringing socks these are taller so when i'm wearing my boots my ankles don't get all cut up and then some underwear this is not only fans where he's gonna throw them in <laughs> okay we are really moving and shaking people moving and shaking last up for clothes we have my snowsuit underlayers which consists of pretty much all black everything because my snowsuit is red and black and even though most likely nobody will see what's underneath. I just feel like mentally I cannot have clashing colors. So I wanted to stick with the black theme. So I am bringing two jumpsuits. One is like this sleeveless scrunch butt honeycomb jumpsuit that you've probably seen in other videos. But this is more just for like a photo. <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes though. So that's just gonna be for like a photo, but then I brought another jumpsuit that is more of a high neck, a long sleeve, zip up back jumpsuit that I could wear comfortably under my snowsuit to keep me warm. And this would also make a great photo as well. So that doesn't hurt. I'm also bringing these black scrunch butt leggings to wear underneath. And then this hoodie from lounge underwear so I think I'm pretty much set clothing wise I probably overpacked but at the same time it's like I'd rather overpack than underpack and not have what I need 
Especially since it's like only an hour and a half away and we're driving, it's like whatever. So that is it for clothes. I'm going to strap these bad boys down and we are going to move on to shoes. So let me bring all these over here. For shoes, of course I have to bring my snow boots. These are by Sorel. I love these. I don't know how well they match my snowsuit, but I don't care because they're warm and they never fail me. So these are definitely going in my suitcase. I'm also bringing my Gucci hiking boots because when am I ever going to be able to wear these if not on this trip? So these are going in as well. I wanted to bring one pair of heels just in case. So I opted for these booties that go with all of the I hear my mouth. That go with, oh, okay, so I'm hearing my mouth. I wanted to bring one pair of heels, shoot me. <laughs> and they go with all of my night out outfits. So these are going in the suitcase. Now I just got these from Zara. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure they still have the tag on them. They do. These over the knee flat boots are from Zara and I've been wanting a pair of over the knee flat boots for forever. Finally found these really cute ones on Zara. So they are coming with me. And last up for shoes, I am going to be bringing my Adidas, I think these are the NMDs. I'm not really sure, but I love these. These are so comfortable. So of course, they're kind of with you girl too, but I'm not sure if I, I might actually wear these to drive. I don't know. So I'm going to leave these outside of my suitcase until I decide. As far as cold weather gear, I do have my sea goggles that are downstairs that I have to grab from Amazon. I will show a photo of them right here and then link them down below because I'm just too lazy to get them right now. I'll pick them up later. <laughs> but I'm also taking these beanies with me. Now what's cool about these beanies is that the pom-poms are detachable and you could mix and match the pom-poms to beanies if you get more than one. So they originally came with black on black and beige on beige, but because I wanted both pom-poms and I wanted to interchange them, I bought both of these colorways and look how cute. Like, so you're able to wash your beanie without screwing up the pom-pom, which is just like so top tier. And like who invented this? It's amazing. Do all of them do this? I don't know. I don't think so. Because I've had beanies that like I couldn't wash. I would get my makeup all in it and there's nothing you could do from there. So definitely love these and then I am bringing my Roxy mittens now we're gonna get into the fun stuff which are my toiletries I have a lot going on here and I'm gonna take you through everything one by one maybe I should bring you guys a little bit closer so you guys could see exactly what it is I'm taking I think that's a good idea please hold okay that is much better so oh, okay Okay, so let's start off with shower stuff first. I try to pack everything in the order that I would use them. So I start in the shower, then I go to skincare, then I go to my hair tools, and then my hair products and stuff like that. So we're gonna start in the shower first. I'm taking this Olay body wash. It's almost done, so I figured I'll just finish it in the Poconos and then just throw this out while I'm there. I'm also taking Summer's Eve Gentle Wash for the vagine and then a hair cap which always makes me look like a grandma but i don't need my hair wet in the shower and i don't know what the water pressure is going to be like or if i'm going to be able to like tie my hair up for i'm taking a shower cap i don't even need to explain myself is that it for shower stuff yeah because i'm not bringing shampoo or conditioner because i'm not washing my hair but my body wash my vagina wash my shower cap and then i have my face wash in my skincare so for skincare, I am bringing the Kiehl's Feralic Brew Rejuvenating Facial Essence. I love this stuff so, so much. I use it every single morning and night. I'm also taking the Bosha Cleansing Oil Gel, which actually I would use before the essence, but it's all good. I'm also taking the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum, which is my favorite serum at the moment. For moisturizer, I'm going to a cold place. So what better moisturizer than the Clinique Moisture Surge? So this is like the best moisturizer for dry weather conditions. And then I'm also taking the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Veil Mist. Woo! I'm taking a lot of stuff for three nights, huh? Damn. 
For body, I'm taking my Neutrogena Hydro Boost Whipped Body Balm. This stuff is such a weird texture, but if you have dry skin, you're going to love it. It feels like you're putting a primer all over your body and it like blurs your imperfections. It's so weird, but I need to have it. So got that. For my body glow, I'm taking the Saint Tropez One Night Only and the Vita Liberata Body Blur. This is just for photos. I mean, I'm probably not even gonna touch this because I'm gonna be covered from head to toe, but you never know. Then I'm taking my Dove Advanced Care Dry Spray in Apple and White Tea. I love this scent. It smells so stinking good. For hair products, I'm honestly not taking that much at all. Yeah, I'm not gonna do much to my hair. I'm not washing it. I have all my products in right now, so I don't really need much. So all I'm taking is my hairspray, a brush, my edge control gel, my edge brush, <laughs> and my rat tail comb. That's pretty much the extent of my hair care products. And then for my hot tools, I'm taking my dry bar double shot, a bed head waver, a curling wand and a flat iron. Wow, I'm really taking a lot of stuff. I didn't even, huh, what did I do to myself? Also, how, how can I forget? I know so many people hate makeup wipes, but these are amazing and they make my face smell amazing. These are the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Cleansing Towelettes. So good. This is so random, but I'm also really into headbands right now. I don't know why, so I'm taking a few with me. One of them is Bucci. One of them is Bucci. One of them is Bougie. I have a Gucci headband. I don't know why I would ever need one of these, but whatever. And then I'm just taking some regular cotton ones that I got from Amazon. And then I'm taking, of course, my contacts, some tampalonies, and then some pads, as well as some Dramamine and Tylenol that is already in my fanny pack. And that should be everything besides my phone charger that I will be taking with me. I probably forgot something major. <laughs> so that blows. Woo! And that's it. We are ready to go. I have my ski suit, my adult beverages, <laughs> and my suitcase all packed and ready. And it's not even midnight yet. We're doing amazing, sweetie, but that is all I have for you guys for today. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.